Pioneer. That's fair enough. We're talking about some crazy decks we'd like to play in Pioneer. By the way, how did that one end up? 4-1? Four 4-1. One? Four one. Four Fair one enough. with right no sacrifice. It was kind of nice. It worked. I mean, yeah, oh, it yeah. went farther than what I thought it did. Yeah, yeah. We went one and four with Stram this morning. Yeah, and then four one with Rakdos cat oven, <laughs> <laughs> throwing cats in the oven. Yeah, now me and Nolan are both going to build oh, the deck. Th this is your deck. This is my deck. It happens. It happens. Rewind. So now me and Nolan are going to build the deck. Oh, go for it. Awesome. It's not. Do it. I said do it. So, real quick, announcement for YouTube. My goal is now to collect four Bazaar of Baghdad. I know, I know. But, so they're each about a little bit under a thousand bucks. So, that's probably not happening anytime soon. No, for all four. Not a piece. No, no. Oh, for all. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. A thousand bucks each. Four thousand altogether. Yep. But I have literally the rest of the dredge deck, and at some point I would like to be a. I'd be able to play at Eternal Weekend, mm -hmm. and that's a budget deck of vintage, mm -hmm. kind of. And then uh, it yeah, also is kind of an investment. You get bizarre, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I would like the investment of being able to say, "Here's four thousand bucks," and then maybe they beat inflation, oh turn around. Even if they don't, I'm playing with some cards. Mm. I mean, that'd be kind of neat. I get to play at Eternal Weekend. Dredge. Dredge. I'm going to do toy terribly, but I really would Actually, like Dredge to. Dredge is not, not bad. No, you're right. It's not bad. You're, you're not. You just play I mean, Manalus Dredge? Huh? Uh, play Manalus Dredge? So in, usually it is Manalus in Vintage. Yeah. Because you, you're only using the Bizarre. Maybe like Dakmore Salvage. Or LED. Those, I think, fell off the wayside because of Force of Vigor. Mm -hmm. Now you can run like Force of Vigor. Um, yeah. But Grave Troll got banned because, or restricted because Force of Vigor. <laughs> it's such a good card. One of the biggest hate cards is Graph Digger's Cage because it beats Dredge and Oath, but you can Force of Vigor to get rid of it, and so Dredge was like, Wee! Oh, yeah, because you could just go Force of Vigor, pitch two Grave Trolls, yep. activate Baghdad, yep. yep. Dredge six, Dredge six, <laughs> discard these three. Welcome Holy to Magical Lord. Christmas Land. Uh, by the way, to see who goes first. All right, so I'm playing a brew, and you're playing, what do you want? Spirits. Spirits, 13. Oh, spirits. I unironically think that at one point, Spirits was the best deck in the box. I don't think it is anymore, but it, it at least used to be. It's so good. What is this, modern or vintage? This is vintage. Yeah, Spirits is still... You're, this is probably not a good matchup for Spirits, though, to be honest. Um, no, fair enough. I don't think it's too bad, but... You know, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a creature-based combo, and you can do well against non-creature, like Paradoxical Outcome, or uh, the Perfect Storm, uh, decks like that. But creature-based combo, especially like this, where I'm not really drawing a lot of cards, so Spirit of the Labyrinth doesn't help. Um, Mausoleum Wanderer doesn't help too much at all. Um, Kataki is actually okay. Kataki is a good card. It's I I can beat it, but it really oh, slows me down. It basically cuts the combat off. Okay, so how about so this? So if you have Kataki, you're in good shape. Except you will ever get an untapped. Yep. What card is that? I can lock four. All right. What do you say? Um, mm -hmm. All right, cool. I will go no, turn it's, it's one. This guy. Okay. So Hall of Bandit, Sapphire. Uh, not Hall of Bandit Lord, but um. Uh, What's the white guy? Ancestral Hugo. Recall, targeting me. Let's, let's, we're playing that game. Oh, well, with three cards. There we go. Right. Okay, so right. card Emerald. Emerald. Opal. <laughs> Is a one and a <laughs> let's just okay, let's just do stupid stuff. Two, four, four, let's mom. just do all the stupid stuff. You draw X card and you gain X life, or X is not a permanent you own, but you don't control. So, so there's a couple different ways I can take this, and I'm not sure which one's right. But I think since I haven't got a chance to try you out, I might want to. But no, 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 it's it's fine, it's fine. Better idea, much better idea. Let's go, Misty. Jose. Uh -huh. Yeah. Faster. Okay. So, how about this? Right, when you say the Stasis Man, right, and you can exile say his creature. All right, you control Stasis Snare. With Zendru on the battlefield, you can get Stasis Snare to Austin. 
That's the beginning. You're up. Note to self, side out force of will. Because that's good. Your space thing, but it still locked that creature up. So this is not a deck that has... I'll, I'll go to upkeep, but then I'm going to fetch first. This is not a deck that runs Brainstorm or Pond. I don't really have much of a reason to not do that first. I'm going to deck then. And, I mean, obviously at some point I'm going to have to do it anyway, but it fills the graveyard for Jace. Now, I have blue and green. I do, I do kind of have white or black, but I don't have both. So I think it's probably okay if I go and get... Um, I'm going to get Savannah, I believe, is right. So they still, I believe Savannah is right. So, they're there. so let's go get that. So it blows up. So it comes back to you. When it comes to you, okay, at the end of their turn, you play right. one cool. white. Uh, this is upkeep, so I haven't drawn it yet. Put stasis on top of your deck. What do you say? Stasis, cast stasis. Give it to the person next to you. Oh Pass turn. The rule. And you've unlocked the board. And you're the only okay, one with sure. a turn. You will play a land, uh, and because with Zedger, you will draw multiple cards a turn because you've given away stasis. Um, well, let's away just start dealing fetch with first. Around the board. You can, honestly, you could play Armageddon in the deck. So I'm at 18. As long let's as see. Like smothering tithing the deck. Because I would, everybody has to... I'd love to be able to... Yeah, yeah. That's, uh... Let's get a Bayou, right. they can't actually. They can't untap their lands, so they can't pay for smothering tots. So there's your one blue for stasis every turn. No, that's, that's cute. That's cute. I don't know if that's right. Maybe I'm not supposed to get Bayou. I'm supposed to get Tundra. And there's the white for the... Dockside Extortionist is a $20 card, um, by the way. But you okay. Okay. I think that's right. I may, be, I may be wrong, but I think that's right. I'm about to cast Emery. Will Emery resolve? I'm going to do it off the Sapphire. It's very good reason, yeah. Okay. So like you play all the mana rocks in there, all the good mana rocks. Emery, so like, trigger. You can cloud shift it. One. No, oh, no, you don't play that. Two. So like, oh god. Main Three. Crit, main oh vault, no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Four. Like okay, well, never so, mind. Because like, Emrakul hit feet. the yard, so. It's an expensive card, but it's worth it because it's one. That, man, wait, one wait, wait. Three. Oh crap. But you have to pay four to untap it, or you take one damage. Maybe I'm supposed to do this first. Jace with the Emrakul trigger on the stack. Uh, I think that's probably right. Because like, I can get rid of a card I don't hard. need. Yeah, we're going to do that. Jace, draw, and then discard. Like, Never mind, it made exactly so no like, difference. Like, well, I mean, I'm going to get to transform Seriously, Jace, but otherwise it made no difference. Alright, I'm going to discard uh, Windswept Heat, the, the card I just drew. Now we get to transform Jace. Right? So, I get out. Unless they pay two for the same thing. Seriously? I'm gonna plus targeting Mausoleum Wander, like give it minus two minus oh till end of turn. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, long turn. It's <laughs> I'm sorry. Green, this is gonna snare, You're gonna have to cast out. a couple spirits in order for it to be able to do damage. Or counter it. It's not strictly better than Curse Catcher, folks. It's not strictly better. Alright, so that happened. You know what? After all this time. I think I'm finally ready to say so, pass the turn. Let me the get this out, though. That, uh, if they didn't Let me get a bigger one. Games, we played for three hours because I locked the board. I just went and locked the board down, and they can't do anything from there. Andrew the Great Hearted is one of the most fun commanders you will ever play with, but you will be targeted instantly if you do not lock the board within about the first four turns. You are dying. Because but he's like, great hearted. This, this he gives stuff. gifts. Yes. See. <laughs> okay, imagine this. Uh, how would you like how would you like a card? This is weird understanding. Yep. You play, okay. You play you know, a card and then this card is less than fifty, it's like fifty cents. Uh you know there's a chance oh, I might should have played that first. I wish I had known. It's okay. Red, it's okay. Oh you can't play lands. This says you can't play lands. Hmm. You sacrifice two lands to draw a card, right? That's a bad card, right? No, well not for Zedru. You okay. give it away. So now, I guess we're going to go Caracas. So like you go on turn Green, one, you go turn one, you go land soul ring signet, black, so you play all three signets in your color. White. So you go land soul ring signet, right? Turn two, you play <clears> white. Turn three, you play Grace of Mind. There we go. On turn four, you give it away. So uh, turn four, they can't play lands. Legendary spells I cast cost so one less to cast. Exile two tart legendary <laughs> cards from your non-existent graveyard until end of turn. Each legendary card in your yard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Woo. Uh, we're gonna plus targeting Mausoleum Wanderer. Because I can land ramp. Again. So just puts land into play for me. And then we are going to right. pass the turn. turn. Which hurts. And I have to blow up the enchantment, which is hard for me to do. Especially when you give it to that If you find a lord, then Kethis has to worry this. about. 
about it. You, you control it's what your opponents control. Yeah. But then you play, you can play counter spells in the decks. You play uh oh, right, right, right. You can play like the two mana counter target spell. You play like, you can play like Disallow, which counters an activated or triggered ability. And it only has or to be a creature. So you play that and they're like uh -oh. super cheap. The whole deck might cost Hey, Remorse, oh. But oh. like, ah. you can do bad things. Really bad things with the deck. It's super fun. Yeah, that's good. That's a good card. <laughs> Man, it hurts but that I can't it, counter it. When I get, when it really I hurts, there, man. I'm, I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask I mean, if I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a card, but... <laughs> sure. Oh, you can build You can build the super version of that if you have the extra money. One, well, two, three, like four, five, six. And the, I don't need and that much. Really uh, want, how about one, two, one, three, four? You can Lotus out. Five mana man artifact that attacks for three with one color. So, like... That three of one color play right. stasis. And you pay your Plus, gift targeting. Play. So you just need six mana and Vendor and you gift stasis play. And now you've locked the board. Fire. Yeah. Oh, How much is the upgrade? The upgrade is yeah. you play five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Or more so player. Like that's, that's, I think that's right. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think that's right. For like a month. Uh, uh yeah. pastor. I could build the deck. Like, if I had really sat down, you can either play Zedger or you can play Zerger. Zerger is like more of a Zerger is a fun one too because it's Esper Colors. The only problem with Zedger and Zerger is the only thing. Oh. Because, like, there's no way. Oh, no. Then, you no have strip mine and four race lands in the deck, by the way. Just FYI. I mean, you might, you would have four I mean, cards harder for Woo! Uh, yeah, that's a thing. It's yeah. good. So, like, you that's really uh, that's going to be fun. Like, All right, so this is a 3-3. Three, three. Three. You're a... <laughs> you have one power. You do actually have a point of power, bud. 4-2. Oh, man. Them up now. I, I better find some. I picked up a place that find some quickly. Because once I deal it, tutor stops getting printed. It will go back to one. Because it's that good. It gets close. Just the 4 Yeah, that um, mystical tutor is like ten dollar card. Mystical tutor searches for an, a an incident or sorcery. The really expensive ones are actually the black ones. Like vampiric tutor. Yeah, well, you don't play vampiric tutor because you're not. Playing I would like to so, like, attempt to offer the trade, the but then the use Karakas to bounce Kethis to hand. That's okay. Those kind of things. What do you say? But you don't play diabolic tutor. You just play demonic and vampiric. Diabolic is a. I recommend, yeah, wasting to keep that from happening later. All right. So Kethis yeah, in hand, but Karakas in the yard. No more. No mas. Right. Uh, what is, what's, the, what's the one mana white one? I can't think oh. of the same right now. Enlightened oh, Tutor. Enlightened Tutor, you have to you go get an artifact or enchantment. So like, you go get. Um, well, there you can go get. Like, Man. You can go I get, love uh, complicated right? games like this, by the way. I freaking no, love them. Green, black. So his turn, so I'm sitting here and I'm playing white. I go into your turn. Get this? Uh, activate. Uh, I guess I won't be doing that anymore. A mana rock that I'm going I guess. To that so you'll get mana crit. You untap and play a zero drop. How many cards do you have in? Two? Uh, you untap, draw mana crit, play, play mana yeah. crit. And then you do all your shenanigans and pass. Jace plus so do, targeting yeah. remorseful cleric. For, for none of the, like, the drawbacks. Yeah. So, like, you want right. to do... And uh um, you turn, not sure. I'll pass turn, my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, you pull it. You, you can see you up there. I freaking love complicated games. <laughs> my favorite part of the game. I want to clear work, but that was good, I guess. You're gonna attack me with it? No, no, no. Uh, Kato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, they're attacking. <laughs> okay, well, there goes the combo plan, I guess. At least for a hot minute. Kataki resolves. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, attacking me, Jace, or me? You. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Can I play that if you want to come back Is it coming in the play? Is that okay? How do you do? What do you do? Take it. Take four. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, well, you know, upkeep. I'm gonna pay this. Not right now. Wait a minute. Did you get one? Got a thirteen. 
I'll respond. Oh, respond to the fetch? Go for it. Listen, listen. Uh, I'll hit this. Okay. I'll float blue. That does make this a little bit easier. So, yeah, you exile that creature. Right, so, like, you play, like, hidden artifacts, creatures, and land, or you play some of the same path. So uh, unfortunately, like, I am going to have to let that fizzle, let that go away, so, like, the blue mana. Alright. As I move to my draw step, you have and they go, uh, cast this to pull up stasis, and you're like, nope. Alright. Oh wow, that's a uh, that's not a thing. All right, emblem. Whenever I cast a spell, target opponent puts the top five of their library into their graveyard. That emblem is now out. For eight. Um. Oh yeah. Pass turn. Not yet. You're set to go for now. For now. Okay, so imagine. Put a new. We'll see. See how long it lasts. So you turn two. So you turn three. Alright, but no debuffs on them anymore. Thank goodness. Just you? You can't play creatures. You can't cast creature spells. Give it to him. Or give it to a mono flight day. Or their whole basis is to cast creatures. Kill you. You just lock the board. You lost them out of the game. So, like, you play a system. Giving these tortures a deal. Oh, fun I'm strongly tempted to do this, weirdly enough. Uh, Emery, please block for me. Sure. See, right here, you play Steel Gold. You can't play Creature Steel <laughs> it's legendary. Oh, it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Unless you want to get one in the yard for Moreland Haunt. Okay, Remorseful is definitely better in this spot, for sure. Alright, we're going to pay. Uh, there's a few things I can do here, but I need to actually start casting spells, like legitimately casting spells. And Jace does not get there, so I think Emory is probably the next best thing. So we're going to pay one, use Kethis' ability, exile Karakas J. Well, you know what? There is a counter There is a counter argument. I can, If I get Karakas here, I can start using July's ability. But I'm only going to get to do it for one turn because these will not get to stay around if I use them for July. So maybe I'm supposed to do this. Oh, uh, wrong one. Caracas Jace get exiled. Exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until end of turn. Each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. So there's the trap. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to do... Oh, yeah. No, I, I misplayed that. I'm supposed to play the fetch land first so I can thin the deck. Is that okay? No, it's fine. You're still in the yard for now. Right. So then the deck. So I, I'm more likely to come across some artifacts. It matters. It totally matters, folks. So you just do this. The second game, the first Let's see. Um, what do I care about here? Do I care about another trop? Or is there something else? Do I get Bayou? I already have one of my three black cards. I think I'm supposed to get the trop. Alright. Cool. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Cool. Emery, go get stuff. Okay. So Deck thinning. Let's go. All right. For the love of God, Minamo, uh, Oko, and Sise. Crap. Um. Okay. Whale. Exile permanent. Exile permanent. Uh. Exile target permanent. You own. And then it puts it back into play under your control, right? You know. You play stuff. No. You play stuff like. Um. There's an enchantment. Yes. Delusions of mediocrity. Can I? Do I have one more mana? I do not. So I guess I can. Oh, I did play a land. Crap! I played. Well, it's okay. I wouldn't be in this spot now if I didn't play the land earlier. So it's all right. It'll work out. Uh, I guess I'll cast it because the the rule still applies. Uh, interest the battlefield. Draw a card. So like, there's an enchantment that says. Uh, 
Well, that could have gone better. I guess I will pass the turn. But it's also, I mean, lots of it happens. Did you draw more than one? What are we doing? Jace's emblem. Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, Emery and Fl Yeah. I need to keep it. There's not a physical emblem out on the board, so I did forget it. Um, we're just. Can we just remember that this is the Jace emblem? Yeah. There we go. There, there's a new rule for this game. It should be ten altogether. It was just Emery. I think it's Fibble Foot, but I'm gonna pronounce it. <laughs> I'm sad that this is gonna have to be the last one, for now. He likes when I play like other decks, like when I don't play mine. There it is. Illusions of Grandeur. So it has a cumulative of two, so it's a four mana uh, enchantment. When it comes into play, right? You gain 20 life. When it leaves play, you lose 20 life. So you pay four. So you have a venture on the battlefield. So you pay four, and then pay three. You're in a decent spot. So you gain 20 life. And give it to somebody and dare them. So you go like, oh, you. So say so he like he swings and blows something up your right, like something you wanted to. Emery and so he blows up one of your. We're going to try to hit. Okay. Right. I have no artifacts in the yard, so if that's a little easier to make. And it's just there for a legendary that draws a card, basically. That's its purpose. Okay. Um, stuff. Artifacts, enchantments, Guess I need to keep these tapped. Okay. I think that's great. Otherwise, I just get one turn out of this. But we kind of need to go off now. So I don't think I can afford that. So these are going to tap for Kataki. Draw. The Creative Sounds is a 8 mana enchantment. Does it does it resolve? Hmm. 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 Okay. I'm trying to decide if I can live one more turn. Because if I can live one more turn, I think I win this game. If. Big if. Because there's a land, and I can cast Sisse, but can I win? Or can I not die? I think I do. Okay, cool. Let's go to 11. You can't put the counter on it. So every time your opponent casts a spell, you counter it. Can we not die here, please? Big so if. Big, big if. Alright, there's the bayou. And I think that's the last one, because uh, Tundra's in the air. I'm pretty sure that's my last one. And that's a windswept, so it can get it, folks. Alright. And then... Bop. Exile. It's an 8-5. With Emery and Pfft for, for casting <laughs> Captain Sisse, yeah. uh, no, Captain of the Yayas. So, oh, wait a minute, you cost one less. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I, I kind of wonder if I misplayed or Oh, maybe I, no, 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 yep, yep, that's wrong, that's wrong. I'm supposed to leave then. Or maybe, no, I think this is fine, I don't want to accidentally hit Amber here. That might actually mess me up if I can't go and get Amber with Sissa. So yeah, I think I'm supposed to get instead and exile maybe Minamo? Because I already have a land drop this turn. I'm not going to need the untapped bit in just a bit. Well, am I? No, because there wouldn't be another one yet. Okay, cool. Draws a card. So you cast two spells? I cast two spells, so yeah, mill 20. 20. Oh, sorry, 10. <laughs> Five times two, not ten times two. He's getting ahead of myself. Okay. I'm. I wonder if it would have changed my play if I had realized that earlier. I wonder. One can never know. One can never know. Or you can cycle up the ball ball. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. So, you have one creature that does not have flying. Spoiler alert, is going to chump that one. Shalai is going to chump probably one of your clerics, in all likelihood. And I'm going to try to live. 
Can I live, folks? If I can live, I think I can win this. Unless you draw like a force, in which case I will maybe not. I will probably not, actually. Probably not. No. You don't want to do that right now. What you do is... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much money do you got? You tell them that. Seven. Seven? Okay. So what you want to do is... Swing out? Probably? Um... <laughs> I don't know what you have, but probably swing out, I would think. Oh, there you go. It is a long game. Okay. So, we said this earlier. Oh, you're leaving S Supreme Phantom back? Mm -hmm. Okay. We said this earlier. It's going to chump here. Uh, Shalai is going to chump... How many cards do you have in hand? Three, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a rattle chains in the deck. There might be one. Uh, I believe though that there's not. So this is going to be yeah. a three yeah. two versus a three four, yeah. and then everything else is in the air, so I can't block like, there anyway. So this means I'm going to take one two three four five. I'm going to take five here unless you have some flash shenanigans. How's that sound? Okay. Whee! They die. Rip, rip Arena. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you know what, Jay? You probably should have blocked the Kethis, actually. You could have killed it. It's okay. It's it's fine. I, I can win through this otherwise, but yeah, I take five. One, two, three, four, five. I can still win through this, so it's okay. Alright. Hey. Unfortunately, I can't use the mana during my upkeep anyway, so no big deal there. Alright, finally I get to untap with Sisse. This should be an easy win. Should be. Alright, cool. So we're going to go, four mana, Paradox Engine, four because of Kethis, Legendary Spells. Tap Captain Sisse. Ready? Go and get Mox Amber. Did I... kind of missed it. Missed if I skipped over it. Oops. We're good though. We haven't skipped it. There it is. Mox Amber. Mox Amber comes into play and untaps the rest of them, including Sisse. Sisse herself. Draw a card for that. Draw a card for that one. Draw a card for Halimana. Draw a card for Dick Draw a card for Turner. Cool. So... There we go. Can't float anything that time. And then you play a thing called Paradox Haze. So Paradox right. Haze, when it comes Time in, to start doing stuff. The, I can make any you color off amber each. except for blue. I can't make blue. But I can so do four mana you, each loop. So I just need to so not mess this pay pay up and I'll be okay. So you go, Tap so you Captain Sisse. Go and get a legend. Untap, right? So, right. so we're going to go and get... Uh, minus six, my swamp skip, tap and um, There's a few things I can get, but I already have Emery exiled, so it's probably going to have to go Micaeus, because Micaeus is one man. At some point, I have to get Micaeus anyway. Um, hmm. I can try to get Teferi to stall for a little bit of time. Not that it matters too much here. Like, there's a few things, but none of them matter too much. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. The color for Mox Opal usually won't matter. Um, but I guess just to be on the safe side, we'll call it white, and Amber is white, so I have Band floating. I'm going to go and get Micaeus and cast it for X equals one, because I kept this. Uh, so Micaeus has one counter. Uh, so I have three mana in the pool. I have Bant in the pool. Uh, this is going to be fun. One, I have a blue die and a green die in here. I, I believe. I do not. I have a blue-ish die. That'll be okay. Green. This is blue. This is blue-ish. Alright, cool. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, so that happened. Untap. Untap Sisse. Alright, tap Sisse and tap the rest of this. Uh, we're going to go and get Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. 
who will not mess this combo up at all, I swear. Uh, but we're going to just increase the numbers for all of these. Because we're going to make white and spend white. Alright, cool. And that's going to untap all these. I, I just need to actually run through the loop. Alright, we're going to do it again. Sisse is going to search for... Lavinia? Question mark? Uh... Maybe? Could, okay, oh, Kataki. That seems weird, but we're going to win this turn anyway. Kataki, we're going to do the same thing. I swear there's an end to this. Swear to God. Swear to me, Mom. Cool, do the same thing. It's going to untap all this. Uh, and then we're going to tap it again and go and get Lavinia. This time we have to use up blue, so we're just going to make four and four here. Okay. Gonna do it again. Alright, so this is gonna go away. That's fine. Good combat. What what do I have left? Sisse? Lavinia. More Lavinia. I can just keep spamming Lavinia actually if I want to. I can just run through all the Lavinias in the deck. But I think I'm supposed to go and get uh, to Fairy. And that's gonna spend everything except I'm gonna make one white. Because it's three mana. No, it's two mana. It's two mana. Oh, it's two mana now. All right, make five. So keep the green around. Use blue white. All right, cool. Uh, do it again. Narset. Make green and white. Because I'm gonna spend blue blue. Okay, so I gotta quit now. Do it again. Okay, I swear there's an end. How much do I have floating? Fifteen. You know where this is going. It's not fun for everybody, but it's fun. Uh, I already have... I'm going to go get so Emrakul. I'm going to lose the other. And I'm going to and just hard cast Emrakul here. Using the, the 15 mana to hard, to hard cast Emrakul. That's with I'll everything untapped. It's still 15 mana. Together. Captain Sisse is tapped, but I'm going to cast Emrakul. And I guess I should float this anyway. It's going to untap... Sisse, exactly I'll, I'll tap it again I for, uh, to it, so that way I guess, two, two mana Thalia, and, some dual and I guess spend some space. green yeah. on getting a Noble Hierarch. And so on my next turn, because Emrakul is in here somewhere yeah, in this mess, so take my next turn, untap for all this stuff. Yeah. What's your life total? Yeah. 20? I only have one exalted trigger, so Emrakul can only swing for 16, but fortunately, Emrakul can swing for se or for 17. I don't play that. to be silly like that. Uh, so Emrakul, the whole team has a plus one plus one counter. Um, and then I lose all my artifacts because I didn't pay the cost for Kataki because I don't give a fuck. And then. Yeah, so that's this That's this deck, that's this loot. Uh, but, if I need to, I can get them back with Kethis, so who even get, cares? Who even gives a crap? Um, do I... Yeah, uh, swing 17 plus a bunch. Uh, I guess... I just need to practice the you know what? I should have bounced something with Teferi so that you'd have exactly six. By the way, you're also at zero cards in the deck. Not that it matters. I kind of wanted to do the loop. But yeah, that's that's this deck. That's how it's supposed to go. That was game one. NB4 Spirits beats me in three minutes. I only got to be heading out now. Oh no, you're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take that long. I'm just unfamiliar with the deck and all. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, at least it got to demonstrate itself one time. The hand was three force of will. So with Cavern of Souls out, it didn't do much. I considered countering stuff just to build up, because uh, the Jace emblem was out, so just to add some mill. But, you know, not, not worth it. Not worth, not worth. We had the combo.